Email marketing. Email marketing is a great way to reach your customers and potential new customers and should be a part of your overall marketing plan. Email marketing has a broad reach, is targeted, provides you with data feedback, allows you to engage directly with the recipients, is inexpensive and less intrusive than telephone calls, and most importantly, it works. Follow these guidelines to create a successful email marketing campaign for your business today. Email list quality. When using email marketing, make sure the list you are using contains quality contact names. Don't just fill up your address book with every email address you come across. This will waste your time and the time of those people you are emailing. Your email list should be comprised of people that expressed an interest in receiving correspondence from you and have signed up to do so. Some great ways to collect quality email addresses are Include a sign-up form on every page of your website, making it quick and easy for a website visitor to subscribe. Ask your customers for their email address when you speak with them, or leave a sign-up sheet in your place of business that they can't miss. Let your customers know the benefits of becoming a subscriber. Receive coupons, special events, or providing valuable information on your products or services are great benefits to offer. Follow up on your promises, sending out those coupons or special event invitations. This is also a great way for subscribers to refer you to potential new subscribers or customers. Essentials of creating a good email campaign. Follow these guidelines to help you create a successful email campaign. Number one, having great email content is key to your success. The from line should indicate who you are and be recognizable by the recipient. Once you establish what your from line will be, don't change it from email to email. Your subject line should provide a brief description, 50 characters or less, of what your email is about. Remember, this is the headline for your email and should be engaging. A good subject line will state a benefit to opening your email. Many recipients will see your message in a preview pane before they open it. The preview pane usually shows about the top two inches of your message. These two inches can make or break your open rate. Make sure you have a great introduction that is reflected clearly in the top two inches of your message. Number two, it is important to send out your emails at the right pace so you don't overburden or bore your recipients. So what is that sweet spot, you ask? Sending out too many emails will become burdensome on recipients and they will most likely opt out. Sending out too few emails may result in the recipient forgetting that they ever opted in and they will most likely opt out. Which brings us to the sweet spot. Sending out an email about once a month has proven to have the best success rate among email campaigns. Number three, make sure your emails are delivered and not bounced back to you. Filters, frequency rates, blacklists, bounces, and complaints are a few of the ways service providers, individuals, and businesses all try to protect themselves against spam. Here are a few ways to avoid being treated as spam. Avoid using subject lines with the word free in it, writing in all caps, or with spaced out lettering, as well as using exclamation points. Don't start your emails with Dear Friend in the content. Steer away from messages in your content that state Click Here, Limited Time Offer, or No Risk. Writing a Clear Email Message If you are successful in engaging your email recipient enough through your subject line to open your email, Make sure the body of the email is true to the subject line. The most important thing to do in your email is to get to the point in the very beginning. Try to establish or remind the recipient who you are and how you know them and make sure your layout is clean and easy to read. 
always provide links and your contact information clearly in your copy so recipients can easily click through to your website or contact you directly. And finally, aim for a Sunday delivery of your email. If you would like to send your email out during the week, Tuesday morning seems to be the best date, but make sure it's in the morning or it will get lost in the shuffle of the day's activities. Know the laws and comply. Make sure you are in compliance with the CAN SPAM Controlling the Assault of Non-Solicited Pornography and Marketing Law. This law applies to all marketers, publishers, and not-for-profits. It applies to commercial email, most email programs fall under this category, and does not cover transactional email, such as renewal efforts, a product upgrade, or service reminders. The major provisions of CAN SPAM are Senders cannot use false header information and deceptive subject lines. Opt-outs must be processed within 10 working days of receipt. Once someone opts out, you cannot send him or her additional messages. Your email must contain a clear and conspicuous opt-out mechanism that remains in effect for at least 30 days after the email is sent. You must have an opt-out function, either a valid reply to email address or a link to a web form that works. You must include a valid physical postal address in your emails. Be sure to understand the entire CAN SPAM law and make sure you determine if there are any other state or national laws that pertain to your market or industry. Elements of measuring your email's success. There are several ways you can measure the success of your email campaign. Other than seeing an increase in sales, you may want to know how well your email was received by the recipients. Understanding the success rate of your emails will help you when you are developing new email campaigns in the future. Here are some ways you can measure your success. The open rate. An email open rate measures how many people viewed or opened an email. The open rate is not an exact science and should just be used as a guide compared to your other emails. This is a great tool to use when testing the success of different email subject lines and content focus. The click-through rate. Click-through rate is a way of measuring the success of your email marketing campaign. It is obtained by dividing the number of users who clicked on a link in your email by the number of times the email was delivered. Click-through rate can be seen as a measure of the immediate response to an ad. Email pass-alongs or forwards. Email forwarding refers to the act of resending an email message delivered to one email address on to a different email address. Email forwards indicate that an email is interesting enough or provides some type of benefit to the recipient that they would like to share with a friend or colleague. Forwarded emails are essentially referrals of your business and if your forward rate is high, can be viewed as a very successful email campaign. Member unsubscribes or opt-outs. The term opt-out refers to a method where an individual can decide to no longer be a part of your mailing list from the point they opt out and on. If you are receiving a high amount of opt-out requests, you should look at your email campaigns to determine if they are obtrusive in any way. The lower your opt-out rate, the better for your email campaigns. Email Bounces An email bounce is an automated email message from a mail system informing the sender of a delivery problem to the recipient. There are many reasons for a delivery problem, including misspelled email address, a non-existent email address, a full disk on the recipient's end, or a rejection due to the recipient's spam filters. Your bounce rate will help you determine the quality of your email list. Having a high quality list will not only result in a better overall response of your email message, but it will save you time on having to sort through those bounces and then remove them from your list. Call us today. We'll walk you through it.